it's been a couple of weeks since I've been able to work on my tractor. Um, I took the head off to see if I could get it checked for if it was cracked or warped, and it turns out it was both, and there's another opportunity I'll show you as well. well first, let me show you the cracks. First one I got to get in real close here, it's on the top, and you can see the magna flux line right through here. There's a crack on the top. Um, I never saw any water or anything come out the top, but that's I mean, it wasn't. The other crack was on the inside of the water jacket lining in here. Uh, you can see the magna flux line right through there. So that's the other crack that he showed me. I um, also checked it for um, to check for warpage, and it was off by about five thousandths of an inch. Um, one of these uh, between cylinder uh, three and around three and two, I think. The problem that most concerned me though was this right in here. Um, should be able to see that in there. There's actually a hole in the from through the bolt hole into the water jacket. Um, that's not very good. Um, so what I did is I just to check everything out. I took the um, took the head gasket that I had off and checked it to see how how it looked. And, and this is what I found. Um, I'm lay this up here and show you where what's going on. It looks like I might have had a little bit of blow by right through here. It's kind of black looking right in that area. Um, it's hard to tell with this uh, the camera, the angle with the light. But um, I suspect that may be a problem. I really had thought it was this was going over to this hole here, which would make perfect sense if the gasket went the other way, it would have lined up there. But that's not how it goes. This is the upside, and that's the way it was installed. I can tell. So it was installed correctly, and it was through here. So I started checking in this hole to see if I could see anything going on. I couldn't find any any obvious points of um, concern in there at all, but it doesn't mean it wasn't there. Looking at the general um, the general head here, it's been um, it's like it's been shaved at least once or twice. It's got some uh, got some good pitting all around on it. Um, don't know if that's in and of itself that's actually bad or all, at all. But it probably wasn't very good. There's also some relief points in here, I think, for uh, for piston clearance. I don't know if that was done to make the, allow the pistons to clear, or that's what they used to grind down. I'm not sure what that was for, if that was in there from the factory or not. But in any case, I got a new head installed, and um, while I had it at the machine shop, it got installed, painted, and it's ready to go, uh, torqued down and all. While I had it at the machine shop, I had them go ahead and drill me out a hole for a water temperature sensor running through here so I've got that ready to go and I went ahead and mounted that in the dash so it's it's ready to go as well too so um, also uh, while I had the generator off I took it into electrical shop to get it checked out because I wasn't getting it to uh, not get any charge out of it so got a new armature in it got it painted ready to go it's actually it actually works now I can do a motor test on it it's all good and also while I had it off, I took the opportunity to change out the, uh, the weights and the, the little lobes here for my, uh, my distributor. I couldn't get my points to set the same on every cylinder. So I replaced that in the distributor. It's now set back in place. Points are all set. Plugs are all set, ready to go. It's ready to put back together. Hopefully in a couple of days I can get this up and going and it'll be, it'll be running good again. And there's a view of the the whole mess in the trial in the shed now so hopefully get this running here in the next day or so